Uh, let me ask you to, you know, let me ask you to identify yourself first and tell me uh, your relationship to okay. FBR. I am. My full name is Maria Lidia Valdez Guevara, but mm -hmm. they call me Marie. Mm -hmm. So Manong Eddie, as we all uh, call him since time immemorial, mm -hmm. uh, are, we are first cousins mm -hmm. through my late father Simeon Valdez mm -hmm. and his late mother Angela Valdez mm -hmm. Ramos. Mm -hmm our sisters and brothers. Yes, so, really. Auntie Ilang, as you call her, is the elder sister of my dad. The, uh, dad is actually the youngest in the family of the mm -hmm. Valdez family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so, we're first cousins. First cousins. <laughs> yeah. But, medyo ano? Yeah, uh, um, medyo, we have a gap. big gap. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, his eldest daughter, Angel, is even older than me. <laughs> mm, mm, yeah, mm. see, si Joe and I are of the same age. Oh, yeah, actually, I was oh, going to say. So, that's why everybody everybody thought, until now, mm -hmm. they thought, they think that uh, Manung Eddie is my uncle. <laughs> is your, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. pamangkin. <laughs> oh, pamangkin oh, ako. Imbis na, imbis na kasi. Oh. Meron din ako mga, meron din ako mga pamangkin. Ah, meron din ako mga pinsa na ganyan eh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, Manong Eddie. Ah, so, so he was. You, you call him. You call we him call him Manong, Manong Eddie. Yeah. Okay. Ever since. Ano na, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was it like growing up with Manong Eddie? <laughs> growing up, actually, we were. Uh, I got. To let, ano, hindi kami masyado nag-grow up kasi nga malaki yung gap mm, namin. No? Mm, so, mm. Uh, kami uh, nag-grow up with the, his children. With the children. Yeah, oh. I remember na whenever there's summertime or mm. weekends, dinadala na kami ng father ko sa Fort Bonifacio where mm. he was stationed at that time. Yes. He had four girls at that time. Yes. No? Si, yung, tapos we were six girls. Yes. Kami na, ano. So lahat kami doon, nadalhin, maglalaro kami, iwan kami doon the whole day. Mm -hmm. we, we, were, we will play with the four girls, you know, mm -hmm. so, the angels, si Joe, si Christy, at si Chula. Mm -hmm. Tapos yun, maglalaro na kami doon. And then when he, pag nandun na siya, oh, bahala na kayo dyan, babay, <laughs> punta na siya siguro sa duty niya or whatever. Oh, oh. What was he like? I mean, I, I, the reason why I'm asking is you have a unique uh, position, you have a unique perspective having seen, I guess, the family man side. Oh, tell, tell um, us, tell you us know, the was. Valdez boys mm -hmm. are all very serious. <laughs> serious in the sense that parang hindi ko sila nakitang nag... Whenever they get together, parang they talk about politics or the military, mm -hmm. about military, because mm -hmm. my other cousins are also were in the military. All right. Yeah. So, parang, pero mapapayot naman sila lahat eh. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, Manong Eddie naman, pagka nandun kami, oh, kamusta, ganyan-ganyan. Oh, mm -hmm. sige, bahala na. Basta lagi yung remember kung bahala na kayo siya, gano'n. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Was you know, he strict? He was strict. Like, kasi, you know, my dad, uh, my dad, um, sika, Manong Eddie was also brought up by my dad. My dad was brought up by his mother because they were orphaned very young age. Mm -hmm. My dad was only five years old. Mm -hmm. So, siguro, yung, yung ano, nung pagpalaki ni Manong Auntie Ilang sa kaya daddy, ganun mm -hmm. din yung ginawa niya kay Manong Eddie. Mm -hmm. Military way talaga. Uh -huh. oh, so, we were also brought up the military way kasi my, both my parents were in the military. Mm -hmm. And then, si Manong Eddie was also in the military. Mm -hmm. So, parang, the oras yan, lagi. Yan. Talaga? <laughs> but what was it like for a kid? I mean. <laughs> okay lang, you know, because we discipline, we learn discipline, yeah. Mm -hmm. Saka, we respect time, you know. Mm -hmm. So, until sa ngayon, I don't know, mm -hmm. ganun pa rin ang ina ano namin sa, to everybody, to our children, yeah, to our grandchildren, yeah. ganyan. So, yeah. yeah, discipline and time na, you know, respect time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe the other the other facet, I guess, of uh, uh, the Valdez Ramos uh, family clan was academics. Academics, yeah, because so all of sister? my aunts, yeah. the sisters of my dad, are in the academ. Yes. Uh, especially Auntie Ello, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. At uh, and then my late Auntie. Uh, Lising, mm -hmm. who was in the States, mm -hmm. 
Manang Leti. Manang Leti was. Auntie Ilang was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. What, so what was it like? Was there any pressure to <laughs> to excel as old? Oh, oh, of course. Uh, my dad used to. Oh, I want pressure you to. Man. I want you to be like this. I want you to be like that. <laughs> oh, you know, okay. like my sister, yung mga elder sister ko. I want you to be an accountant. I want you to be. Sa akin, she wanted me to be a lawyer. So, pero wala na para <laughs> <laughs> Walang nasunod. So mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. ano lang. I think ganun din siguro si Manong Eddie with his daughters. Mm -hmm. Pero because hindi naman kami nagkaano-ano sa mm -hmm. college namin. So mm -hmm. nagkasi ano na kami. We were together. Yung children ni Manong Eddie were together with UPLM. So, oh, at LM. Oh, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and then nag nagkahiwalay namin na ng mga high school kasi they went to IS, we went to U, I went to UP, yes, and yes. we went on our own stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Was there a ah? Let me just follow up what you said earlier. Where the Valdez boys were very serious. <laughs> serious. And, did they ever laugh? <laughs> Well, what 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 was uh, what were family gatherings like? I mean, um, mm, teka. yeah, I mean, nag, nag, ano naman, they also tell jokes, siguro mm -hmm. about, kasi, um, siguro yung mga jokes nila about yung military jokes. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, yeah, you know, I kasi yung mga kami na mga cousins na girls. Mm -hmm. Well, we talk about you know the usual. Girl talks, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you let the men talk. Because I know, I did that also grow up with my other cousin, <coughs> na boys. Because mm -hmm. they're all in the states. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it was yeah. only my. Half of the Valdez. Karamihan uh, ng Valdez siblings. cousins and siblings were all in the states. It was just my family mm -hmm. who was uh, born here in the US but although my siblings are all now in the states mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. yeah parang kayo yung ano parang kayo yung kami na iwan that's why when manong <laughs> eddie was on. already in the campaign we we at the very start of this presidential ano nandun na kami <laughs> oh you were okay oh. I'll, I'll get to that yeah actually. i know <laughs> <laughs> ah Weaknesses, soft spot. Well, did you see who was his favorite? <laughs> Alam mo wala. Um, I don't think he, he parang he, he treated all his girls equally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but of course the, you can't blame that they always favor the eldest. You know, but mm -hmm. it's natural. I think it's natural for all families. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think he treats them all fairly mm -hmm. equal equally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was there a no? Was there a weak spot in? <laughs> In the I think armor. a <laughs> tendency of uh, an only boy in the family, uh -huh. you know, only boy in his family, mm -hmm. only boy in his own family of four girls plus one, uh, five girls, and then Manang Ming. Mm -hmm. Siguro, if make you make Lambing, mm -hmm. he tends to give way. <laughs> mm -hmm. when, when, when was the first time it dawned on you that, I mean, now you know, the the... the the ranks he held, the, mm -hmm. the, the responsibilities he's, he held, but you know, growing up uh, as one of the youngest cousins, well, well, when was the first time you realized that he was not the ordinary run of the mill, uh, you know, uncle or uh, I mean, uh, uh, member when of we, the family? When we, whenever we went to his house in Fort Bonifacio, All right. We already knew that he was something, parang meron na siyang rank or you know something of a dignity, dignified person. Na. Mm -hmm. Because everybody respects him na rin also. No? Because mm -hmm. I think he was maybe because also he's a graduate of the West Point. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. And then, um, and I think also because siguro. My, because I didn't encounter so much with my other cousins except him because he's sila nga yan nandito. Mm -hmm. oh, so, talaga sila yung nire-respect namin and mm -hmm. so I can and say also that he's my favorite cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi nga, kami yung lagi nakakain. You spent the most time. Yeah, spent most of the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. It, didn't, it, didn't, it, didn't, ano, it didn't impress on you that most everyone in the camp, for example, was saluting him and 
fish. Oh, yeah, you know, that's why it dawned on me nga, na parang, oh, he's something different, oh. you know. Oh. Although, of course, oh, yung, kasi my dad was also in the military, you know, yeah. so, pero I was still very young then, mm -hmm. so hindi ko naman napapansin na talaga meron din pala yung ano na, sa daddy ko, no? mm -hmm. but, you know, nakita ko when, when, kay Manong Eddie that time nga, mm -hmm. you know? so everybody saluting him, so, that, he must be something, oh, <laughs> you know, oh, he must oh. be somebody, oh. you know? May kakungkulan. Oh. Ano, Tell me about, ano, did, 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 did your dad share any stories about uh, his exploits with uh, FBR when, during the war or that? that? Oh yeah, uh, actually it was Manong Eddie who told me about the story na in one of their exploits during the war, during the in occupation of the Japanese, yes. Uh, ano, yes. ha, so, they were selling the bananas right. in a cart in Cariton. No? They were walking, so, so uh, I, I don't know who was somebody else with him. Tatlo daw sila, I don't know who is the third one. Okay. So they were, they were walking around this street now. And then a Japanese, they encountered a Japanese with a soldier with him, you know, in Barilila with that pointed yeah, ano, sword, yeah. <laughs> Sabi nung, my dad said, huwag kang magbabag, kasi di ba, you're supposed to bow yes. whenever you meet a Japanese. Yes. Sabi nung, my dad said, don't bow. Sabi nung, eh, paano, we will be delikado. Sabi nung, we might be shot at, you know. Basta huwag kang magbabag. So, they just walk, continued walking, continued, and then they were stopped by the soldier. Mm -hmm. they, and then he just inspected the, 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 what his... Uh, what was inside the cariton. Yeah. So yeah. when you saw just bananas, you know, yeah. they just let go, but they did not bow. <laughs> they did not, okay. they did not bow, so they were safe. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, they were. Oh. Okay, Landa. So, pero Manong Eddie was so nervous at that time, because siyempre, he was still young at that time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But he was supposed to be carrying letters, supplies, did, 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 you, did you hear those, ano? did you hear those stories? I th yeah, I think so, yeah. <coughs> um, when my, I think when my dad was captured, because he was captured there, so he was in ka Kapas. Kapas, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think he, yeah, mag nagdadala ng mga sulat from my ma, uh, from his, ang Auntie Ilang, mm -hmm. And then from my lolo, lolo ayo, to my dad, my dad to to them also. Yeah. Did actually I have some of those letters, pa? You do? Have yeah. Those letters. Uh, I I kept them. Oh, that between uh, uh, between, between uh, my dad and my lolo, okay. our lolo, uh -huh. and then. Um, a letter of my cousin Manang Nancy, my late Manang Nancy, to my dad. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you kept it. Ah, well, you kaong naging ano? No? Yeah, it's, ikaw in, naging it's safe. Custodian ng ano? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, of, the, of, of your dad's and all stuff. Did did hearing those stories well, from 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 your dad and from FBR, you know? At, when did you hear those stories? Uh, hindi pa siya pangulo noon. Nasa sundalo pa lang siya noon. He was... Uh, he was... And the, tapos na yung presidency ni Manu ah, Eddie. Uh, yeah. And then... Um, yeah, that time. Mm -hmm. Tapos... Eh, ang, my dad naman would make comment about his military. Ano, mm -hmm. with Manong Eddie. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But at that time, I mean, looking back now, on hindsight, did it ever occur to you that uh, he would get to where he got to? I think so, yeah, because um, President. his father, he's exposed to politicians because his father was a politician also in Pangasinan. And then yun ka, he was very close to my father who was also a politician in Locos Norte. Mm. And then he had a cousin who was also a politician and also became president of the Philippines, mm -hmm. you know. So I think all of us were exposed, actually. It was also my sister and uh, who also wanted to become a politician like mm -hmm. Manong Eddie. But we were, on my part, or on our family side, we were discouraged by my dad. But 
Manu Edi Siguro because he really wanted. I think ma, with the support and the of my dad, mm -hmm. he went. He pushed through with his plans. Well, he was on a different track actually. He was military. Yeah, but uh, being the military, you know, during the time of the pre uh, President Marcos, he was also he had different. Uh, <laughs> mm. What he was treated differently, so maybe mm. you know, mm. no. When he was asking advice or whatever from my dad, when my dad supported him, he said, "Go, baby." So mm. that's what pushed him more. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What was it like? You knew. What was it like? During the campaign? No, no. During the martial law years. I mean, oh, did okay. it dawn on you that FBR was one of the chief implementers of martial law? I didn't know about that until <coughs> my dad told us about it. No? But uh, we took it very lightly because parang <coughs> we knew it was about uh, time that, that Manong. Uh, FM was going to declare martial law because at, on the eve of martial law, I think somebody from Malacana called up my dad. Oh. So um, we didn't, I didn't know who it was. Maybe also, maybe Manong Eddie also called him up. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, because my dad doesn't really tell us everything eh, because yeah. sabi niya, baka maybe he thinks we're too, still too young to know whatever. Um, the facts and everything, so he just said, just be prepared, sabi niya. He told us, my dad told us. So, mm -hmm. um, we didn't know that Manu Edi pala was one of the, uh, no, but uh, when martial law was declared, they spoke again, and then he said that, um, take it easy, just relax, follow the rules, mm -hmm. and then, um, don't be so, you know, because at that time my dad was, was still in the congressman of Ilocos Norte. So, yeah. wag ka na lang kayong magpapahalata na, you know. Actually, na, 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 ano kayo ng politician. But even before that naman eh, um, hindi naman talaga kami mayabang na anak ng politician mm -hmm. eh. Mm -hmm. oh, kasi nga ayaw namin ng, lalo pa, some people know already that we are relatives of Marcos. Yeah. So, Sabi ng dad ko, just ano lang, relax lang kayo. Mm -hmm. And then, um, we don't need body, we didn't need bodyguards. We didn't want the bodyguards kasi mm -hmm. lalong mahahalata. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you kept a low profile. Yeah, low profile lang kami talaga. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Did you notice some change with uh, with FBR with, during, during the martial law period? Actually, hindi kami masyado nag-encounter during the martial law years eh. Kasi mm -hmm. nga siguro sabi ni dad, yeah. ng father ko, wag na muna. Mm -hmm. Ganon, para kasi mainit pa, ganyan, mm -hmm. ganyan. Mm -hmm. So, later on naman, eh, parang no, no change naman. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yung, ano yung casual relationship namin as relatives or as friends or what, mm -hmm. ano, as family. Ganon lang. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. Did he become more stern? Given mm, the, the, the must turn pa nga siya nung we became president. <laughs> ah, <talaga. laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Tell me about EDSA. EDSA. Okay. Yun, when um, did you... What were you doing when the news hit you that... <laughs> What's he doing? At, what's he doing at Aguinaldo? What's he doing at Krame? You know, um, we didn't. Not uh, no. Did you get involved in the opposition? February six? We had the family gathering. Oh, okay. Okay, and then, at the usual, but my dad and him were talking, logging serious, and I think at that time. Uh, he was already getting parang advice or moral support from my dad. Kasi nga parang 
I don't know if I have to say this na <laughs> kina inaapi na, di ba? Uh -huh. I mean, because before, he was already told by former President Ra Marcos that he would become the chief of staff. Uh -huh. And then suddenly there was a change of uh, command, di ba? Uh -huh. So, parang, <coughs> that, I think that was the point, that was the peak of his punong-puno uh, na. Uh -huh. So, nung February 6 na yon, um, it was a formal, and it was an, the usual anniversary gathering of our family, February mm -hmm. palagi yun. Eh. Wasn't that the time when Secretary Ramos I think passed away? February yun, eh, but uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. So we always hold family gatherings in February oh. because maraming may birthday, may death, may mm -hmm. ganun mm -hmm. sa February. So I heard, uh, I heard na parang, he was already asking support ng anong gagawin, ganyan, ganyan, talaga, anong ba talaga, mm -hmm. Siguro, he was really planning, but of course, we were surprised that siguro, he had the proper timing with Enrile at that time na, mm -hmm. so, pinasok niya na yung, so, kumampi na siya kay Enrile, okay. noong in February 25 na yun. Okay. What about the, 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 well, uh, Manang Leti, uh, Senator Shahani, uh, had actually, uh, she was she was one of the senior ambassadors in the foreign service at that mm. time, you know? but she withdrew her support from Marcos much earlier, and yeah. was actually <coughs> she expressed her because, support for uh, for uh, Mrs. Aquino. How did, did that also was that something that weighed? I think on that was also well? one of the factors no, to cause or, that was or, considered yeah <laughs> and then because also at that time that he uh, that february 25 revolutions started my father was the president of the ibp the integrated part of the philippines so we had a full support mm -hmm. he, my, my dad went on tv on channel four to call on all the members of the ibp to support andrile and ramos mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. So kami naman, during those three, four years, uh, th uh, four days ng, yeah. ano, of course, sabi niya, oh, uh, kami lang nandito, no? my family, all my sisters and my mother were in the U.S. Were really overseas. So of course, they were all worried. And then, so don't go out, ganyan, ganyan. Pero kami, the UP revolutionary, <laughs> ano, <laughs> went to Channel 4, to Channel Two and child seven, mm -hmm. and then we also went to camp Krame with my dad. Edsa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we passed. <coughs> no, Edsa. We went to see Manong Eddie inside. Oh, tell me about that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, at that time, kasi our, our driver was um, a retired PC also. So he told my dad told the ano oh see check how we can enter camp Krame through the back. Yes. Of course, kasi hindi pwede sa harap, no? Because eh, I want to see Manong, your uh, FVR, sabi niya. Gano. So, si Hoy, he made, he, he made way na parang, ano, kung paano kami makakapasok. So, he contacted, I know, some people inside, siguro. And then, so we were able to go in mm -hmm. through the back door, mm -hmm. gano, mm -hmm. and then, I think that was what the second or the third day pala of the uprising no so tapang namin kaming tatlo pumunta my dad me and my suggest my husband leaving my children kung may nangyari doon bulila na yung mga anak ko <laughs> not thinking that ha, but because we wanted to show our support to <clears throat> manong Eddie mm -hmm. you know and to mm -hmm. support you know Morally, spiritually, mm, mm. so yon we succeeded and we tandali lang kami no, siguro mga ten minutes lang kami because a lot of people were there. Yes. Yeah, yes. we just got to hug him and tell him, take care, we love you, we support you, uh -huh. and then we uh -huh. left. You know. there... Then of course my dad and he, nagiyakan sila talaga. Yeah. Mm. Oh. So maybe because he, my dad didn't expect na talagang. It was already at that time that he was going to do the, you know, mm -hmm. a go against mm -hmm. Marcos. Mm -hmm. yeah. But your dad advised him. Actually, yeah, to but do that, you know? siguro 
didn't, my dad didn't expect it to be at that, you know, that soon after February 6th. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. dramatic, you know? yeah. <laughs> it was quite you know, uh, very fast pace, you know, mm -hmm. the development of the events. Yeah, yeah. we Would were you... so worried, no? Yung, kasi, we don't know, because they, but they have the, the military in their, uh, in their hand, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so we really just prayed for it. And, for, mm -hmm. and then um, con ano, uh, we contacted, we tried to contact their children, but of course we could not, because I think ano, no, bawal, <laughs> bawal na siguro mag-contact sa mga ano. Oh, okay. You, you tried to, you, but they were already living at Alabang? I think, yeah, time? I think so. yeah, yeah, that yeah. time, yeah. So you tried to get in touch with them, you yeah, were not able to. Yeah, pero, no. So, kaya nga, just a newspaper and radio lang kami nag, so, ano, nagde-depend. Mm -hmm. But on the last day, we were also at EDSA. Yeah. Yo. yeah. And then, yeah. that's that time we learned about na Marcos left already for, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What was FBR? How did he look like when you saw when you, that that brief that, ten minute know, meeting? He was frail, and then Talaga. talagang poyat na poyat ang itsura na, and then talagang he was surprised to see us, no? and then ano um worried parang worried na rin siya nung at the time na baka he doesn't know what will any time na he can be assassinated or you know the, mm -hmm. the, the people around those na kunwari nagsusupport might be you know mm -hmm. I don't, you don't know mm -hmm. so it was a brief encounter <coughs> pero napansin ko nga na you know worried stressed mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then how did it ano how did it uh, how did you separate the ways? Well, after we just hugged each other, because we were a lot of so we, we just told him, we love you, we support you, and then mm -hmm. we will mm -hmm. uh, no, we'll pray for you. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we left now. Did he say anything? What did he say? He, well, no, just thank you, thank you. Go now, go, go. Because <laughs> he was also worried that something might happen also inside there, eh, right? Ah, and you guys yeah. were there. Oh. Oh, even yeah. then, nag-aalala pa rin Yeah, di ba? Oh. Oh, you don't know what's, I know, mm -hmm. what's in, inside or outside, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was it like? Did you see, did you see on television, uh, Mrs. Aquino swearing in? Uh, FBR was there, right? Did you see, were you yeah, able to we watch that? Yeah, I saw on or TV. Or were you li just listening over the radio? I, w I saw it on TV. You yeah. saw it on TV. Yeah, but Walang impact. Him. <laughs> Walang impact sa akin. I didn't. Okay. 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 Of course, but proud that <clears throat> Manong Eddie is safe, you know. Mm -hmm. and then, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess seeing him. Yeah. <laughs> well and well and good and. Yeah. Good and okay. At saka, what, he was the. He was already appointed as national defense, right? He was promoted to chief of staff. Chief of staff, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. It's, uh, that he would break away from President Marcos. Uh, I mean, you told me that your dad was advising him you know, to take heed. You know? Uh, Manang Leti was doing the same thing. She openly threw her support for Mrs. Aquino. Was looking back now on hindsight, was he was he one who would was he one who impressed you? Would break from you know break from tradition, break ranks. What was that? Was that was that something you would expect him to do? Not hundred percent, no. But maybe because yung, I think it's not, but natural for a person na pag, it's uh, you know pag talagang medyo marami ng pag ano sa yung isang tao. Mm -hmm. I think it's about time to let him go <laughs> or get away from him, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you don't you you're losing respect already, yeah. Yeah. And then of course. 
yung ego mo is being affected already. So you don't, of course, you don't, you don't want like that mm -hmm. to be hard to happen that, mm -hmm. that way. So parang expect na rin din namin na okay. he will really ano. And then of course, kasi because <clears throat> at that time, kasi the President Marcos was already kind of abusing his mm -hmm. power now. Mm -hmm. So. Actually, my dad said that when he <coughs> declared martial law, he will stay his, he will declare himself as president for life. That's what my dad said. Mm -hmm. So that's how maybe how he knows first President Marcos. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, at that time, so parang talagang it's about time that he should really should break away from him because you know this is not the kind of. Marcos, I knew. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. When was the next time you saw FBR after after that that, that the meeting at Krame? Uh, after that, you know, the revolution. Mm -hmm. I mean, that after that Krame. Yeah, yeah. Um. Tapos na at lahat. Tapos I na, so, and then. So, how long after? I can't recall, but he was already the chief of staff, yes. and then um, he became national defense, pa. After, yes. Uh, uh, so yeah, mga yan. Family gatherings, na lang. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, what was it like watching his his star rise? I mean, you know, you were expecting. Um, yeah, I guess um, you, you guys were expecting him to move up, and that of course, happening. we're very happy. Na talaga oh. parang. He already achieved what he wanted, no? Mm -hmm. So, and then, yun lang, parang casual lang kami as, you know, as, like before, um, mga family gatherings, mm -hmm. yeah, very mm -hmm. casual, you know, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. nothing special. <laughs> Talaga? Oh. Hero of EDSA? Of course, of hero of EDSA, <laughs> but, you know, uh, kaya nga, that's why everybody, oh, your cousin of FBR, papi, papi, ang galing. Oh, <laughs> parang kami na rin na nadala because oh kasi ka pa lang ganyan, ganyan. so pa picture naman ganyan. <laughs> of course okay. everybody idolizes him <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. yeah how did that you know? how did that uh, how, how did that impact on, on, on you of and course very proud kami no? oh. because first time that uh, everybody recognizes FBR ganyan and uh, of course, us also na hawa narin kami ganyan. Mm -hmm. So um, we had more relatives, we had more friends. <laughs> I don't know if Big relatives man, talaga <laughs> oh, gano. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sige, okay lang, kaya lang, carry, mm -hmm. carry, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then he became Secretary of National Defense. And then eventually he became. What was it like when? Uh, how did it? How did it hit you when? I mean. He eventually he announced that he was going to make a bid for the presidency. And you know? do was that? Yeah, when you one came in? we were so happy, you know, because <sighs> another cousin is going to become a president. No, tapos sabi namin talaga ito na. We will really work hard for this. Mm -hmm. So talaga decision yun ang ano? Decision yun ng pamilya. Yeah, because yeah, with my dad, because you know, I think an lucky na influence that of father ko on FBR. Yeah. Because nga sabi ko sa ipin an lucky ani my dad si yeah. manong Eddie. So so sabi na when when my dad said that oh, si Eddie will run for president. Ah, oh, talaga ang yun. They mm -hmm. all support kaya. Actually, even before panong ano na yun. Did you know? Did did your dad know beforehand? Siguro they had ano, <laughs> siguro they had, you know, because lagi sila nagtatawa gani. Eh. Talaga. Oo, at uh, saka talagang siguro siya yung political advice kasi yeah. gusto niya siguro yung from yung yung north influence tapos at that time my husband was already in Mindanao so yung Mindanao influence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So talagang <coughs> getting ready. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Actually, when we the, when farm was organized, the you know, friends and Ram, uh, the pioneers of Ramos movement, mm -hmm. na, nagumpisa na kami dun. When was that? Man? Yung before yung ano yung farm mm -hmm. yung ano, 
80, ano ba yun? 80s yun eh. Mm -hmm. He became president in 80... No, 92. 92. So, in 89, mga ganon. How often did they meet? I mean, I mean was that you know, something? I, minsan kasi nawawala na lang daddy ko sa opisina. So, <laughs> siguro oh. doon yung time na nag-meet sila or, sila. Ano, or bupuntahan niya sa DND siguro kasi malapit lang sa bahay namin ng Camp Aguinaldo. So, yeah. 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 Very ano, no? Uh, Very close sila. Actually... Uncle nung, Sim. Nung president nga si Manong Eddie, pinapagalitan pa na si President Trump. Sabi ko, Dad, presidente na yan. Huwag mo nang pagalitan. <laughs> Ikaw na ang papagalitan niya. Mm -hmm. But that's the father figure. Oo oh, eh. So, sabi, na, sabi nga ng mga ibang tao, ako, tatay mo lang talagang pwede magalit na kay FBI. <laughs> Talaga. Up to his, ano, no? when he was already ano, oh, the president. Yeah. yeah. Actually, when Manong Eddie was first declared or um, uh, as president of the Philippines, mm -hmm. yung official na after, ano, he gathered all the relatives in uh, Polo, Manila Polo Club. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and then, of course, the Valdez and the Ramoses. And so, sabi niya, okay, sabi niya, this is my, remember this, this will be my instructions to you and you have to follow you know? mm -hmm. no drugs no smuggling no corrupt no corruption Talaga. yeah even if you're my relative i will not support you if you are in those four Talaga. Yeah. and then so I mean, <coughs> on the valdez if you need if you need anything so i mean i i I assign Uncle Sim, that's what he calls my dad. Yes. Uncle Sim, if you need um, anything, so know, you have to pass through him. You do, will not go direct to me. So mm -hmm. If on the Ramos side, you, you call on Uncle Sir Seving, Seving, Severino, Seving mm -hmm. at, you will not go direct to me. You go through him, you go through Uncle Sim, you go through Uncle Severino. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so even tell your friends, tell your other um, People, if they want something, go through the uncle to uncles, not through me, direct, not direct to me. What was, what did that, uh, what, what did that mean to <laughs> everyone there? <laughs> Sabi na, oops, <laughs> more, <Yeah>. more relatives. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's, um, my dad wanted that, and of course, he's, I mean, champion, he was elated because my uncle, I know FBR still recognized him as, you know, parang mm -hmm. uh, into the politics again because my father retired already from politics yes. at that time. So our building on Aurora Boulevard just across Broadway Central was full of people, recommendations, ganyan, ganyan, oh, favors wow. <laughs> and everything. Ganyan, ganyan. So... Even those people that uh, who turned their backs against us during our political days went to us. That's why the noble in being allowed. <laughs> anyway, so suddenly appeared, no? or reappeared. Yeah, 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 yeah oh, sure. Oh. Yeah, and then um, of course, ano, um, happy. My, that made my dad happy, no? because. Mm -hmm. um, He's back into politics, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But the ground rules, you know, no hanky panky. Oh yeah. Did he? Did did FBR also discourage uh, the relatives from getting into, into business government. with government? Into government. Oh, angat maari wag na kayong magnegosyo with government. Not really. Ba? Basta he. Every time that we have, ano, he always uses that bibingka. Have you heard about yes, that? Yes. Yeah. The bibingka mm -hmm. na luto sa, sa ibaba o luto sa ilalim. So if you present something to him, mm -hmm. dapat lutong luto na mm -hmm. in a sense na wala nang mga masyadong ano, na talagang ayos na ayos na yung project. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Oo. Mm -hmm. So, yun. Okay. So while he did not discourage. He, he did not discourage. And then, for example, if you wanted the position in a government, you come to me or you come to that to my assigned person. 
I, I'm, the one, I'm not the one who's going to look for a job for you. Mm -hmm. You look for the position, you look for the vacancy, mm -hmm. and then if you, feel, if you feel you're qualified, mm -hmm. then I can recommend you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But otherwise? Otherwise, sorry na lang. <laughs> but, of course, kagaya ng iba, Oh, gusto kong pumasok sa ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Eh, kung maghanap ng position, kung may bakante, mm. kung may bakante and you feel you're qualified, mm. then that's the time you apply for that position. And mm. then if you need a, a uh, recommendation, yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't recommend, ang kay Manong Eddie, uh, I ex we experienced one ng, through a, of, a, of a friend, hindi naman niya talaga dinadiretso doon sa tao na plan. It will through another agency that mm -hmm. is under Kurani, yung, uh, yung, yung, yung main office and then yung, ano. So doon mm -hmm. lang dadaan, hindi talaga doon sa taong mm -hmm. um, So pinare-review pa rin niya? Pinare-review pa na. Talagang, <laughs> talagang dadaan ka sa ayob na nito. <laughs> Stricto talaga. Stricto talaga. Oh. 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 I'm 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 jumping actually. Uh, <laughs> kasi pangulo na itong ano eh, pangulo na siya eh. Pero tell me about the campaign. I mean, how did you get drafted into <laughs> ah. So you said you uh, farm. Uh, yeah, farm. Uh, actually it was really my husband years. who was really involved in that because he was based in Mindanao. <laughs> <laughs> he was already based in Mindanao, so uh, he had the uh, he was uh, head of an agency there. Mm -hmm. So, um, yung, so, ginamit yung, ano, yung mm. uh, network. Network, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, kami naman sa Ilocos, ang gumamit din kami ng network namin mm -hmm. Of course, pero si, siyempre, still Marcos yung ano pa doon, di ba? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, respetado pa naman kami doon eh, sa yeah. Ilocos, so, yung yeah. ginamit namin. Yeah. 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 Oh, what was it like running against Relatives. <laughs> okay lang. Um, <laughs> well, at that time, no, wala na si well, tahimik sila noong at, time, no, but, but, at that but time. But when FBR ran, Mrs. Marcos was also a candidate, eh, di ba? At that time, a candidate siya for... President. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Diba? So what was it like running against... <laughs> ah, in-law. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we didn't, didn't ano, we, it didn't bother us because okay. we knew that we were going to mas malakas kami. <laughs> okay. Okay. Kaya, I mean, that we know that, of course, medyo mahina kami sa Ilocos because Marcos Republic pa rin yan. Eh. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah. pero at least di naman kami zero, di mm -hmm. naman kami ano doon sa ano. Mm. You have Pangasina. Pangasinan. Of course, kaya nga, that's why. Pangasinan ka, ang laki-laki. Mm -hmm. So, alam din namin na malakas doon. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. oh, okay. What was it like campaigning for FBR? Well, what, what did you do? What did you do for, what, what did you do during the campaign? So, organizing? Hindi, uh, like, ano lang kami. Hindi, ako masyado sa ano, because uh, I was... Um, si da my dad was the one campaigning in Ilocos eh. Oh, okay. So, pero nung, ano, the, nagka-campaign kami, we went one town to town. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I didn't go to Mindanao kasi bahala na si husband doon. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, sa Ilocos lang kami. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. So, nag-focus ka where, mm. you know, where, where you could. Yeah. Okay. What was the family, well, the extended family like during that time? I mean... He was running against very strong and well-funded rivals, ano? Danting, di ba? Speaker Mitra. Oh nga eh. Um, Can you share some of the highs and lows? <laughs> parang hindi ko yata masyadong na ano yun. <laughs> yung... Kasi ako taga, ano lang ko, yung mga, ano, oh, pula ng ganito, ganyan, oh, pula ng ganyan, o, oh, sige. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Pero hindi ako, ano talaga. <laughs> the, one of the other, I guess one of the, one of the highs, and he, FBR was seeking for it, ano, uh, was the endorsement of President Cory. He eventually got that, ano. How, how, did, how did you, uh, 
family? How did uh, they Personally, farm? Personally, ako, ano uh, eh, uh, I knew he was going, she was going to endorse FBR. <laughs> how, did parang, how did you know? Eh, kasi from the very start pa lang, parang favorite na niya si FBR. You know, ginawa na kaga ng chief of staff, tapos mm -hmm. DND, mm -hmm. tapos, you know, support naman siya na all the, ano, tapos, he had a good relationship with uh, President Aquino. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, And hindi ka na gano'n? Hindi ka nagduda na ba kasi munching ni Trump? Mm, parang hindi ako na... Ako lang ha, personally, oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh. You didn't see it? No. You oh. saw... You saw... FDR so, bagging yeah. the endorsement. Mm, yeah, that's of, right. Of Mrs. Aquino. Talaga. <laughs> okay. You went back to private life. Mm. <laughs> But you were watching from the sidelines, you know, because you, you, you actually, you know, you, kayo ka mo yung naiwan na yeah, uh, dito, ano? We, sometimes we get to be invited in Malacanang also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yung when say, uh, Jas, Pope John Paul II went, we were, 95. We were also there, yeah. yeah. I got to kiss his hand. Wow, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What were family gatherings like? I mean, so I suppose you were still having uh, family gatherings. Yeah, na I think we had two or three gatherings there in Malacanang. Mm -hmm. The um, same, just the same. Because, uh, I don't know, of course, they always speak, talk about politics. He, my dad, my <laughs> elder cousins, oh. Ivana Leti, mm. and then, you know, kami namang mga iba dito, like manang in the Angel Latin Timan. Mm -hmm. We got sep you know, get separate tables, so mm -hmm. it's just casual, lang, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, family, you know, yeah. more for more family talk mm -hmm. than, than, than than anything else. How yeah. did you guys take to criticism of FDR during during and after Wala, his labas term? pasok lang because we knew naman that they're entitled to their opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, Ano nila. And then the... So... Let's take it lightly lang. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ano yun? Par for naman, the course. Eh, kasi if you, if, you discuss, if you discuss with him, or mag-de-debate pa kayo, eh, syempre ayaw mo naman lahat sabihin ng... Minsan yung reasons behind it, they, he might not mm. know it, she mm. might not know it. Eh, mm. Hahaba pa yung diskusyon, so wag na lang. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so... Oh, sige, if that's what you believe, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Next. <laughs> diba? Yeah. And diba? then if yung mga rumors, rumors na yun, rumor. Yeah. 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 Let it. Let it go. You know, wala naman mangyayari if you. <laughs> if you feed it. Okay. Okay. Generally, how did the family view his performance then? Oh, excellent. Par excellent. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't. Yeah. Because I know, I think he's the first president as an in, uh, engineer, mm -hmm. and uh, well, I'm I'm not sure. May, I may be corrected as a West Point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, not as a soldier because Ferdinand Marcos was a soldier before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. May comparison ba ng performance ng isang kasin <laughs> against the other kasin? <laughs> no, nung pisa nung Mar ni Marcos was he was doing great, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, but when he was young. Tumatagal, tumatagal na, eh, wala, I mean, yung greatness niya na, na pangibaba, na nalunod na sa, ano yun, na pangabaan. Hmm. Parang gano'n, na, natabunan na. Natabuna na sa, yung ano niya. As against abuse. FVR? Yeah. Si FVR kasi, ano siya eh, eh he got a good cabinet. He had mm -hmm. he got uh, very good people in his cabinet, mm -hmm. and he had very good advisors. Mm -hmm. So everything equal. I mean, ano? Siya talaga ng ano? I mean, maganda yung performance niya, and he started the build up or transfer, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and he restored the power. Mm -hmm. Being an engineer, he got you know, marami siyang ginawang ways on how to restore the power because at the time of President Kiri Aquino. Brown out, tayo ng brown out, di ba? Bars, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pagkatapos ng kanyang pagkapangulo, after his administration, mm -hmm. mag-ano na ba? 
naglighten up na siya. <laughs> oh, What's yeah. it like? <laughs> I feel I felt it, no? Because Talaga? Oh, and now he we can get to more uh, and uh, get to more see him mm-hmm. on a very light atmosphere, mm-hmm. light mood ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tapos um we get to invite him more often and he mm-hmm. and I I'm very happy that he sees to, he sees na he he attends. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, and then um hindi na mainitin ang ulo. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Kasi syempre, of course, the pressures and the stress of being oh, a president, of oh, course, you expect oh, that naman, oh, di ba? Oh. So, yun. Talaga. Hmm. So, mas masaya kayo ngayon because you see him more often. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Tsaka, he gets to know more of the family. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's met your kids. He's... Yeah, he knows more of my kids. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Anong kinukuwento mo sa What do you what do you tell your kids of FBR? Hey, ano ka na ba? May apo ka na ba? Meron na. Meron Ay, na. maliliit pa. Ah, okay. okay. Even the I know eh, my kids grew up uh, I mean, I already had a four uh, three kids uh, oh, when siya. he became president. Ah. So na exposed naman din sa mm. doon sa ano ni Manong Eddie and then mm. I mm. 96 uh, I gave birth to my fourth child so hindi na ano it's okay naman uh, tutuwa sila na uh-huh. naging president ang pres- uncle nila is a president uh-huh. 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 Oh. what would you tell your apo of FBI I, I, I tell him that oh your your lolo lolo na yata lolo uh-huh. is uh was one of the great presidents of the Philippines. Mm-hmm. He's, he's the greatest president of the Philippines. So when I, I already encountered them in one of our gatherings mm-hmm. in Loyola. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think my eldest uh, uh, grandson will remember him, na, you know, that, that the sign. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, the thumbs up sign. Oh, yeah. oh. So, so last, I know, when I, when I saw my because they're based in Orlando, Florida now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, oh, it's your Lolo Eddie is just, ah, mm-hmm. yeah, I remember he's like that. So, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what, uh, no, what do the, no, what do the overseas uh, Valdez uh, relatives uh, know? My sisters, uh, see, they... uh, every, Feb, every year they come home, so mm-hmm. they get to see Mano Eddie every mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. And my other cousins, who's, Medyo kasi edad, a little younger than him. Mm-hmm. They don't get to come home here anymore mm-hmm. kasi medyo ano mm-hmm. na. Mm-hmm. So, when, ano naman, when Manong Eddie was younger and ano, when he often goes to the U.S., they yeah. always see each other there naman. Ano? Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I remember. In San Diego those... or in San Francisco because yeah. my sisters are all in base sa may San Francisco uh, area. Uh, West yeah. Coast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so West Coast. Okay. From your own personal view, what would you say was his greatest legacy? Greatest legacy? Yung, I, I should say this uh, his build up rate transfer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. then, then the restoration of the power in the Philippines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course, being a very kind and. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very uh, uh, president ang um, ano, mabait ta, uh, mabait pero stricto, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And then of course, di natin malilimutan yung thumbs up nga, at sa kayong palaging pinapalala na yung bibing ka, at sa kayong kaya ang kaya natin to, kaya kaya ang kaya talaga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody ano, sabay sabay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm good. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>